What's up loves and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, hi, my name is Anam Loves and I post videos up every single Friday about what? Life, beauty and skincare, which is my favorite, organizing, which is also my favorite, and people that I do life with, which is my all-time favorite. So if you like any of those topics, hit that red button down below and join me. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about something that I have been struggling with because as you all know, if you follow me on Instagram, I want to be able to share my life and my story, hoping that it will encourage you if you're maybe even going through the same thing or even have a friend going through it. So I was thinking and thinking and thinking and honestly also praying. I'm like, Jesus, please give me something. And one of the things that came Came up in my life was the word boundaries. Now, I'm not talking about relationships like physical boundaries, physical touch, all that stuff. That is a whole other video for a whole other day. So I might get to that when I get there, but as of right now, I'm gonna put that to the side. I'm talking about boundaries in one's life to make sure, hey, you are not as stressed, you don't feel like you're in this state of like a chaotic moment, and you don't feel overwhelmed, frustrated, or irritated. I think boundaries are so, so healthy and such a good thing for one to have in their life. And I have just been struggling with kind of like creating boundaries in my life on like, even like hanging out with friends or saying yes to things or honestly, let's be real, saying no to things because I'm a people pleaser and I just wanna say yes to everything and just please everyone and in the end, I'm gonna burn myself out. So I just wanna share with you, I'm not an expert at this, but two reasons why I think everyone should have boundaries. I think it's super healthy. Number one, boundaries create structure in your life. Now, when I think about boundaries, I definitely think about structure because when someone doesn't have boundaries, I'm just going to be honest, like everything is just like everywhere. You're kind of thinking everything, everything's like getting checked off in your head. You're hanging out with friends here and there and then you're like tired at the end of the night or you're not waking up early enough to get to your job. Like when you don't have boundaries, you're just more stressed. Um, you feel very irritable. You feel very agitated. And when you have boundaries, you create that structure in your life that you need to just go about your day very smoothly um, and get into this routine of like, hey, I'm only going to like hang out with my friends on certain days. And then the other days, maybe just hang out with myself and kind of have like self-care because you don't want to burn yourself out in the end of it because that's not healthy and that's also just not good for your soul. So that's one of the reasons. And then secondly, I think boundaries create freedom in your life. And and you're like, wait, what? And um, that makes no sense. That's like counterproductive. Let me explain. When you create boundaries in your life, you're creating that structure in your life of certain things to do at certain times. And when you complete all of those tasks at the time that you have planned them, you then have this freedom of like, oh my gosh, like I already got that done. I already got this done and I can actually just rest. I don't really have to like think too much because everything has just been written down. Um, you just have room to breathe and that is so healthy for your soul. So those are the top two reasons why I know it's a really quick, quick video on that part, but I'm not done yet. I'm also gonna show you how to do a perfect red lip. Like, hello, the holidays are coming. You know everyone's gonna be wearing a red lipstick and let me tell you, this red lipstick that I use is hands down my favorite in the world. And you only need one product. Like, come on, you don't need a lip liner, you don't need a setting powder, you don't need a foundation, and you don't need like, you know, a brush to like define your lips. No one has time for that. We live in a really fast paced world and I only use one product and one product alone to get the perfect red lip. And I'm gonna show you. So if you wanna see that, please stay tuned and keep watching. So a red lip, I love during the holiday season or even just throughout the year. I think it's just very bold. It's very beautiful. It's like sultry. It's really sexy. I love a bold red lip and I am always for something that is just going to give me a pop of color. Um, and also a red lip that doesn't transfer onto my shirts or if you're like kissing someone because that is the last thing you want is to have red lipstick all over them or your shirt. So. I love this brand of lipstick. It is super cheap. You can get it anywhere. My favorite is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. Here it is. 
I love it. It's in the color, what is it? Matador. Let me tell you three reasons why I love this. First, it is a rich, beautiful color. It is so pretty. Second, it does not transfer to your clothes or if you're kissing someone, it doesn't transfer at all. It stays on all day. And that's my third reason why I like it. It stays on all day. I've done the all day test with this matte lipstick. And let me tell you, I'm eating, I'm drinking, I'm talking. This thing does not move anywhere. And one of the things I wanna show you is the applicator, which is my favorite. So here is the applicator. It's kind of like triangular and you're able to get into those crevices of your mouth um, and just outline your lips so flawlessly. I love this lipstick and it's just a beautiful color. So let's put this straight on. Okay, first off, I'm gonna put on some chapstick and the chapstick that I'm using is by Supergoop. I love this stuff. It is the Mint Condition Lip Shield. Now, little quick tip. When it comes to matte lipsticks, at least from what I've experienced, I do not put on a lot of chapstick because if I put on a lot of chapstick underneath and then put on the matte lipstick, it doesn't tend to like dry matte. It stays kind of like that shiny color um, and it like honestly gets everywhere. So um, I just put on just a little bit. I also have a mirror in front of me so I, I can do my little lip thing pretty well. So you just put on a little bit, not even a lot. Just that much, I barely put anything on. So next you're gonna take your red matte lipstick and I always just wipe off some excess because I don't want it there to be a lot. And you, I can always come back and get some more. So it's pretty much this much. And then what I'm going to do and where you're going to start off is you're going to take this. And I'll come in a little bit closer. You can see. You're going to start in the middle. And you're just going to outline your lip. And really define your lip line. So I'm taking like the corner of the applicator and just, just really drawing it out. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then just put on the rest out here. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to transfer and just um, close my lips so it transfers to the top like this. So it's just an easy transfer. So a lot of the color got into the lip and then what I'm going to do with the rest of the lipstick that's still on here is I'm going to define my top lip and just outline it just a little. And do the other side. And then I'm going to take the other side of the applicator and just put some more of that red lipstick on top. Just so the color is just like super rich. And then I'm going to go with the tip of the applicator and do the corners of my mouth. And... You basically have a red lip, so let me just wait like a minute. BRB. Okay, so I am back. So, sorry, that took longer than a minute, my bad. Um, it was actually like four minutes, but as soon as you feel it completely like drying on your lips, and then you do like the swatch test, which I'm going to show you. Literally nothing. Nothing is on my fingers. Like this lipstick stays on your lips forever like look how beautiful that color is it is rich it's gonna stay on there it's not gonna transfer anywhere like I gotta zoom out so you can just see the full-on effect 
but seriously this red lipstick is my favorite it is the perfect matte lipstick you literally just need this the applicator is beautiful it helps you line your lips ever so nicely this is my go-to and l'oreal also has like different colors as well i have like their brown and their purple shade too for the winter time and i just love it so you can do no wrong with this matte lipstick from l'oreal i will post this down in the description box below for you guys to reference from or if you want to buy it as well well i hope all of you loves enjoyed that video this video of talking about boundaries just really helped me realize what i need to do in my life to create boundaries and making sure i'm not being stressed out or overwhelmed or irritated because when i don't have boundaries um i tend to show that and even like say things i don't mean and so i want to always make sure that my soul is in a healthy place and i think boundaries are just so so good in one's life so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up um and if you want to see more maybe lip colors maybe for the winter season then let me know in the comment section down below and i would love to make that for you but i hope you loves have an amazing week i'm looking forward to next week and i love you all so much Mwah. Ooh, bye Okay, that was like five minutes. Oh, shoot.